Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Confidential Assignment, a Korean action comedy from 2017. An officer of a special investigation team in North Korea goes to a disturbance at a warehouse that prints counterfeit money. Now his superior and his own team are there to steal the master plates to print counterfeit United States dollars. So a shootout takes place and, in the process, our protagonist is shot and others killed. After learning that the villain has fled to South Korea now, he is ordered by his, I guess, higher superiors to capture his former superior and retrieve the stolen master plates. Now the South Korean officials are informed of this mission, but they're merely told that this villain is a murderer, not a counterfeiter. You know, so they're not given the full picture here. So in response, I think they could, they could smell that something's up here. A South Korean cop is assigned to tag along with this North Korean agent to find out what's really going on. So Confidential Assignment is essentially a buddy cop film. The aspect of having a normal cop distract an agent who has arrived from another country did remind me of Rush Hour quite a bit. Uh, this is a formula that we've seen you know, in movies for decades in various similar forms. But the relevant question is this. Is Confidential Assignment entertaining? Well, I think it is, and that should be no surprise to you because I try to review movies that I like in my individual reviews on this YouTube channel. Now, our leads in Confidential Assignment are Hyun Bin, Hae Jin Yoo, and Ju Hyuk Kim. Now, I'm familiar with Hyun Bin from his previous films, Late Autumn and The Swindlers, along with his K-dramas My Name is Kim Sam Soon and Secret Garden. His role in Confidential Assignment as the rigid North Korean agent is played with a sense of vulnerability right from the start. You know, this guy can kick butt, and he does, but he also gets his butt handed to him on multiple occasions in this film. And this combination of script writing and his performance helps to establish uh, certain risks and obstacles that this character needs to overcome. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't just breeze through the, the film kicking everybody's butt, you know what I mean? Now, Hei Jin Yu has been in a ton of movies. You know, more recently he was in A Taxi Driver, Lucky, and Veteran. His performance in this film is right up his alley. He has the look of an everyday man. You know, this guy isn't a supermodel. So he fits right in as like the South Korean cop who's just trying to do his job. He's also skillful at comedy, and uh, he provides most of the funny gags in Confidential Assignment. And finally, Hyu Juk Kim plays the North Korean villain. And as some of you may know, this actor died, unbelievably, in a car accident last year in real life. He was in his mid-40s, which is far too young uh, to pass away. I mentioned in my review of uh, The Truth Beneath uh, that this happened. And one thing that's quite odd is that I grew familiar with this actor for his romantic comedies, like My Wife Got Married and Couples. So seeing him play unlikable characters in recent years in Confidential Assignment and the truth beneath was a, a little bit of a shock for me personally. But he's very natural in his portrayal of despicable characters. So he actually has a kind of a natural talent in that. So there's really not much to complain about uh, with, with regard to his performance in this. He's good. He's menacing and dislikable as a villain. But, uh, you know, I did re-watch Couples a few months ago, I think. And that final shot of that film definitely hits a little bit harder knowing that this actor passed away in the middle of his prime. It's really too bad. But in any case, one of the reasons why a fairly generic film like Confidential Assignment works is because of the casting. You know, if they had cast instead, like, a, you know, a comedy actor who's annoying all the time, you know, uh, an action actor who's like a plank of wood, and a villain actor who's just limp, you know, and, and non-charismatic, this movie would not have worked. So casting in this film was key. The action is generally very good in this, filmed with intensity, and focuses on stunts and physical effects. You know, there are some good car chases, foot chases, and shootouts along the way. In terms of the most memorable moments, there's a fist fight involving a wet roll of bath tissue. Uh, but the big highlight of the film is a car chase shootout that occurs during the latter half. The problem, though, that limits the impact of the action in this film is that the sequences themselves are rather short. You know, they're given in small, compact doses that leaves you kind of wanting a bit more. 
You know, if the filmmakers had extended a few of the action scenes by just a few minutes each, it would have had a little bit more of a lasting impression for me. And because of that, I think Confidential Assignment is not an elite action film, you know, in my eyes. I did enjoy the comedy overall. However, you know, some of the humor was a bit abrasive, in my opinion. A bit too much screaming at times for my liking. You know, this is especially true near the beginning, when we're introduced to our South Korean protagonist, who is constantly yelling at his family because they keep annoying him when he's trying to sleep. After a while, I was just like, just kind of waiting for that scene to end. But that type of thing only happens a few times in this. Uh, As I said before, the humor does mostly work. One of my favorite scenes of comedy in this is when the South Korean cop attempts to mimic the North Korean cop's, like, fighting style in one or two scenes. That was, that was pretty funny. And finally, the story, it keeps moving and developing, you know, which makes the two-hour runtime actually feel a bit shorter than what it actually is. So, you know, this has, like, that crowd-pleasing feel to it, and it's briskly paced. So, yes, I do recommend Confidential Assignment. It's available on Amazon Streaming in the United States, as well as Region 3 DVD with English subtitles. And as always, I'll see you next time.